Hey everyone. Welcome to Healing the Heart, Navigating Love and Hurt. It's a guided meditation designed to help you journey through the complexities of past relationships where the intertwined threads of love and pain have shaped our emotional landscape. I invite you to begin by just finding a comfortable position to sit down and just feeling the support of your chair. You can close your eyes gently or shift into a soft focus. And let's just start by taking some deep breaths together. Just noticing your inhale and exhale. Just filling your lungs with fresh air holding it for a moment and then exhaling it through your nose or your mouth with each breath releasing to some tension or stress. As you settle into this moment, if you can, envision your heart as a vast landscape where each experience of love and hurt has planted its own seed. Some of these seeds have blossomed into beautiful flowers that are vibrant with color and life, symboling moments, symbolizing moments of love and joy. Others may have grown into thorns, representing the hurt and pain you've experienced. With each breath, allow yourself to gently walk through this landscape of your heart. Notice the flowers and the thorns. Acknowledging their presence without judgment, if you can. Each one, each flower, each thorn has shaped you, contributing to the depth and richness of your emotional landscape. Now, I invite you to focus on the flowers, your experiences of love. If you're willing, reflect on how these moments have brought you joy, taught you about compassion, opened your heart to the beauty of connection. Let yourself feel gratitude for these experiences. Just letting their positive energy envelop you. really breathe in this love. From all the people in your life who have loved you. And as you breathe out, just keep sharing this love with your past, present, and future self.
Now, if you're willing. Please shift your attention to the thorns, the hurts that you've endured. It's natural to feel some discomfort or sadness as you do this. And you can make space for whatever discomfort you feel. But also see the strength and the resilience that you've gained from these painful experiences. With each exhale, can you imagine sending a wave of forgiveness and compassion towards these thorns? Transforming them even more into lessons of growth and wisdom? You're not erasing these experiences, but rather you're allowing yourself to coexist with them. Understanding their role in your journey without letting them dictate your future. This is an individual process. That you allow with tenderness. At your own pace. But ultimately it's a process of tenderness and self-love. Just letting whatever pain you've experienced and love. Help you understand your journey, but not letting them dictate your choices of how you interact. See if in this moment you can find a harmonious balance between acknowledging both the love and the hurt that you've experienced. This balance doesn't diminish the joy or the pain, but see if you can allow it to offer a pathway to deeper self-understanding and healing. Just seeing yourself as a whole person shaped by a spectrum of experiences, yet not defined by any single one. If you'd like, you can visualize just a golden light of healing energy surrounding your heart. Soothing whatever pain is there and reinforcing the beauty of your emotional landscape. This light represents your capacity for healing, for your strength and vulnerability. and your courage to move forward with a more wise and open heart. And bring your attention back to your breath. See if with each breath you can just feel your heart space expanding, feeling more receptive and resilient. I'm imagining that each of you here, each of you listening to this meditation, that you're navigating the complexities of love and hurt with grace, that you're embracing each moment as an opportunity for growth and deeper connection with yourself. So gradually, as you're ready, feel the support of your chair, 
And slowly bring your awareness back to this present moment. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Stretch if you need to. When you're ready, open your eyes, carrying with you any insights from this meditation. Would love to hear from you either in chat or verbally what came up for you. A lot of contemplative looks on your faces. Feel us a wonderful grounding meditation. Carol, you're nodding. Yeah, I was very touched, but um, being able to connect to the flowers, but also all the swords and the when I arrived in the field, it was very, I, I saw all the, I don't know the name in English, but you know, the very sticky and uh, really like bad, but I could see all the flowers within. And by the end of the meditation, I was able to merge both uh, as a rose. And I say, you know, you have the sticky and, and all the swan, but then you have the flowers and I'm like, you know what? Your life can be like that. Like still open your heart to others as flowers. And even if you're hurt, mm. it's very helpful to have the rose image. Yes. Thank you, okay. Carol. And yeah, Matthias, you're saying something in a different, using different words, but I think you're saying something similar to Carol, which is uh, my both, my most beautiful flowers are the ones I, wouldn't have without your thorns. Andrew, what are your thoughts? You look like you're about to say something. Yeah, I think I'm just seeing how clearly love and pain are connected. And and like every time, like I've loved the most, it's also hurt, hurt a lot. Um, and that's just, that's just part of opening your heart to love, I think, I'm seeing. Yeah. Every time you've loved the most, it's also hurt the most. It's, I guess all, all relationships have to end in some way, even if it's the most incredible relationship like I had with my spouse. It ended in his death. And I don't think there is love without hurt and when we love so intensely we're also just so much more vulnerable to whoever it is that we love asha says very healing i feel like i'm more than my hurts that i am more open to forgiveness that's beautiful tasha i want to thank all of you for being here i'm going to stop the recording now and would love to talk with you further